Thanks, of course, to Kaz's Twitter. We have yet again our latest batch of silhouette teasers for Gran Turismo 7. This time, of course, for the April update. We should get the trailer tomorrow, I would imagine, to confirm these predictions and see if there's any other stuff in there that's notable, maybe a new circuit or new variations. We can always hope. And, of course, get the update itself, I would imagine, on Thursday. So, what are the vehicles that we get? Well, two of them we don't even have to predict, because we already know. The two Dallara Super Formula 23 cars, updated aero, updated point levels, no doubt, compared to the outgoing SF19s. Once again, you have the choice of the two teams, and I went into those in their own video. Suffice it to say, we've already seen these cars in stills from the game, so that's not a prediction at all. The other two, though, are interesting, because I could see this one actually going both ways in terms of each car. I think some people will be happy with both, but I could see a lot of people really disliking one of these choices and really loving the other one. By far the standout for many of us will probably be that top silhouette, which is quite clearly a vehicle which we already saw, I believe, or heard about being leaked more so than saw in the game, the returning Jaguar XJ220. One of the most iconic supercars of all time, the fastest car in the world, I believe it was, for about five minutes, and a car which I've never loved as much as most people, but I certainly understand the appeal. I'm more of an EB110 kind of guy, but yeah, the XJ220 is certainly very quick, and it will be interesting to see if it's better in this game, at least for me and my standards in supercars, compared to the previous games. Because in Gran Turismo, for example, 5 and 6, it was fine, but it was never really a remarkably good supercar. Even in a straight line, it was one of the slower supercars in the game. The race car wasn't that much better. It was a fine choice if you wanted to drive it. Lister Storm style, it was a nice aside, but it was never one of the best race cars in the game. So I'll be curious to see how much respect they give it, how tunable is it. We'll have to see. It would be nice to have some aero upgrades to turn it into a TWR version, but I'm not exactly hopeful for that. The next one, though, is the one which could be more controversial, based on the reaction, even myself included, to be honest, with the GT3 uh, Nissan GTR that we had added. Technically, it's a new car, sure, but it doesn't exactly seem like the correct you know, way to prioritise new content when it's yet another variation instead of something genuinely overall new, you know? like a new brand or an entirely new GT3 machine. This one is kind of that again. I, I think more people will like it than the Nissan. It's what appears to be the Evo version of an AMG GT3. Doubtless it will be fast, doubtless it will be good, and clearly Kaz loves the AMG GT platform. I can't say I blame him. I've driven a GTS myself and it was a nice car, but it's not necessarily mind-blowing, <laughs> at least for me. So clearly he loves it because there's loads of different variations of it in the game, but for now... It would appear, at least, to be the Evo version. You already know it's going to be good. You already know it's going to be quick. It will be interesting to see in particular how it compares to the specs of the existing Group 3 AMG. And aside from that, we'll have to just wait and see tomorrow in the trailer, like I said. If there is anything else of note, I'm kind of hoping for a circuit, maybe something tied in to the Super Formula cars, but we'll have to wait and see there. For me, I'm definitely looking forward to the Jag the most. Like I said, you already know the others are going to be at the very least quick, if not highly useful, and probably some good livery bases will come out of it as well. So that's it overall for this quick bit of news. Of course, it goes without saying, stick around on the channel tomorrow for the trailer breakdown, then for the update review, and of course, for my thoughts on each individual car. But until then, I'll see you next time, and for now, as always, thanks for watching.